is up everyone welcome back to my channel it is drew here from lone fox and you are tuning in to part two of my roommate's room makeover and if you've not already seen part one you probably want to go back and check that one out in that video i basically showed how i painted the walls with kind of like a plaster effect did all the trim work and also did this insane wall molding technique which you can kind of see over here with some really really great pieces and it was just all around a really fun start to this video so today is part two and this honestly is probably my favorite part because we are going to be doing all of the decorating, all the finishing touches, accents, new bedding, new furniture, all the fun stuff in this video. And if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. We just hit 700k today as I am filming this and I just want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support on all of my videos. It's crazy to think that I kind of just started this as a hobby and you guys are still here watching and enjoying my content. So I just want to thank you all so much for that. But let's go ahead and get into the video because we have some furniture to assemble and a room to finish. So this is kind of where we left off the room, all the moldings up, all of the curtains are up, the walls are finished, and now we're gonna be adding all of the additional elements. So I really wanted to find Marie a vintage French style dresser, which I'll pop up some photos of kind of inspo that I was going after. However, I could not find anything that would arrive in time for this makeover slash that wasn't like $4,000. So I was like, let's go ahead and improvise. And I found this Ikea dresser on their website and I'm gonna add some new knobs to it, hopefully to give it the appearance of one of those French style dressers on a budget. So let's go ahead and assemble the dresser. It is a couple hours later and the dresser is fully completely assembled and I ordered some knobs on Amazon. So I didn't like the ones that it came with. They were just a little bit too simple. So I ordered these really pretty glass ones and then I also ordered these ceramic ones and I'll make sure to link these both below for you guys. Um, but I don't know which one. The ceramic ones are kind of cool because they have different motifs. However, I think this elevates the look of it. This kind of just looks like white knobs until you get closer. This, I feel like you can instantly tell it looks a little bit more expensive slash matches the vibe. So I think I'm gonna go with these ones I am so happy with the outcome of this dresser. It is just perfect, you guys. It is like the perfect mix of simple, but still the style I wanted to go for. I think this might even be better than the ones I was giving you guys the ideas for. Look at the curved edge on the side here, just like a nice little touch. And then we customized it with these knobs, which of course are from Amazon, which I'll link for you guys below. But overall, this just looks so cute and it's actually gonna be going on this wall. However, Marie needs to transfer all her clothes from here into here. As you can tell, the sun is setting at the moment. So I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning because my decennial package is supposed to be here tomorrow morning which I'm so happy about. We're gonna get some pretty framed art prints for the walls so I will catch you guys in the morning. And just as I expected, I got a package this morning from my good friends over at Decenio who are sponsoring today's video. I have actually worked with them multiple times, such as this entryway from my friend Hannah. And I also did this living room makeover where I did a really fun gallery wall with some brass frames. But Decenio packages always come so nicely and they also ship super quickly, which is my favorite part. Like you can order these and they are to your house in a couple of days. It's incredible. So I ended up getting a couple different frame sizes, but the artwork is always my favorite part. And the great thing about Decenio is they have such a wide range of different posters ranging from minimal to like Scandinavian to photography um, to like more typography vibes. There's so many different vibes of posters on their site and they really pair perfectly with all their frame selections as well. They have a lot of different colors, choices, and sizes to choose from. So these are all of the ones I ended up choosing. I will link every single print that I got below for you guys and I actually ended up getting quite a few smaller size prints because if you guys remember the wall molding takes up quite a bit of the wall space. So I wanted some smaller prints to throughout. They have some perfect sizes for that and I got one larger one to cover up the breaker box. But the most incredible part is that Decenio is currently having a 30% off sale but you can get an additional 10% off using my code LONEFOX on top of the 30% which is absolutely amazing. So definitely use the link in the description box below and keep in mind the sale starts today on July 30th and will end on August 3rd. Hello everybody, it is day two of part two of this makeover and today actually happens to be my birthday But you know what we are just moving on with a makeover because I'm not just gonna like sit in my room and do nothing I'm gonna you know, this is fun for me So I'm really excited to be doing this However, today's gonna be cut a little bit shorter because we do have like some dinner plans and just like some other things like that So what I already did this morning was actually assemble a couple of the new furniture pieces Which were kindly gifted from Safavia the main larger furniture pieces that they sent over that I constructed this morning were the really pretty brass 
gloss and blue velvet bench. It is literally stunning. And by the way, guys, I'll make sure to link all of the Safavia pieces in the description box below for you guys. And then I also put together the bed, which you can kind of see a peek of it right here, but I constructed that. It was just, again, very straightforward, just screwing all the pieces together. But there is the bed in its current state, which I'm going to definitely share with you guys in a second here as well. Here is where we currently are. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff happening, but this is the new bed frame, which looks amazing. Super excited to get it all completely done and made into a nice bed, you know. The nightstands are going to be staying here. However, I do think that the new bench, the Safavia bench, will be transferred over to this wall um, that, like, the bedding is against currently. And then I also added in this really great olive tree from Wayfair, which I'm going to place somewhere as well. I kind of just moved in a couple components. But however, I do want to firstly put down at the rug prior to putting the mattress and box spring back on top. So let's unroll the rug. The rug is literally perfect. It is moody, but it has the perfect shade of blue as the bench. So love that correlation. And there's like some dark navy in there. So it has a really great vibe and I love it with the bed frame as well. So now I'm gonna add the bed pieces back on top of the bed. Good morning everyone, it is the next day and today is gonna be the best one because this is where the room's gonna come together. Finally, all the furniture is built, the pieces are kind of assembled, this is the current state of the room. Of course, like the bedding's gonna change and some of the decor elements, all the curtains are hung, the moldings up, there's Marie over there. Oh yeah, she's waving. And then, yeah, so the dresser's here as well. And now we're gonna add all of the finishing like styling details and I kinda wanna show you guys the furniture pieces in their current place. The bench from Safavia is going to be right Right here. Originally, we actually were gonna plan on putting it kind of underneath this window section here. However, it is a pretty wide bench. Like, I don't know if you guys can see how wide this is. It's probably like two feet or so. Um, and I just expected it to be a little bit skinnier. So it just fit better more on this side. And I also feel like if Marie was getting ready, where you'd probably be like putting on your shoes right here. Like you wouldn't like walk all the way over here, you know, cause the closet's like right there. The only thing that we're a little bit concerned on are the nightstands and they do definitely work. And I want to see how they work once everything's kind of together and on, including the bedding. However, because they're mirrored, they kind of get lost in like everything. If you guys can tell, because the rug is in reflecting off of it. There's just like a lot going on with the mirrored element. Now that all the furniture is in place, I want to hang up some of the decennio wall art. So that way I know kind of where those pieces are going and then start adding some of the decor elements, the new bedding and decorating the space. So when it comes to styling a dresser, I personally like to kind of cluster things in different sections. So on this dresser, I have the mirror, which is kind of the backdrop piece. And then I have a book cluster and then I have a frame on the right side. And then I also have the perfume tray cluster. So there's kind of three separate clusters in front of the mirror. And I like to break it up with odd numbers. So I feel like this just fits perfectly. Just went ahead and styled the top of the dresser and it looks so cute, you guys. I'm obsessed with this mirror. It's from Safavia. It's the larger one. I also got a smaller one, which I think I'm gonna use in the living room area. And then this is actually a frame from my website. It's the Wildflower Plaster Frame. It's so pretty. I just love the way that looks. Here's a little uh, vase from my website as well with a floral from a floral inside of there. And then a couple other little decor elements over here, like some books and then this little perfume tray Marie got. I didn't wanna do too much to the walls here because I really like the molding details. So I think the offset mirror kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. I also added this little vintage bowl, which we found this at the thrift store a long time ago, but it's so cute. It has a little brass element. I don't know if you could see it, but it's kind of has this brassy look to it. And then throw some trinkets in there. I um, mean, I think that's gonna finish off the styling. 
Hello, um, I'm in the car. We're actually gonna head over to Target to pick up a couple finishing touches for the space and then um, I'm gonna head back. I have not vlogged in public since like February, but I figured I'd bring my camera along with me since I'm going anyways. I also do need toothpaste, mouthwash, and hairspray. So I'm going for multiple reasons. Guys, I completely forgot to vlog. I'm so not used to vlogging in stores anymore, um, but I did shop inside. I just got out and I got some of the new Casa Luna bedding from Marie's Bed, including this like linen um, comforter set. And this is like an oversized, like chunky knit throw. I don't know if you can see that, kind of hard to see. Even though they are pretty similar, this is actually a little bit darker than this. So I think it will be a nice kind of tone on tone look. And I got a couple of decorative pillows, a basket, which I think I'm gonna put the plant inside of, the tree, and then also a sheet set, which is like kind of an oatmeal color. I don't know if you can see that, but I thought it would play nicely with the brass tones and also bring a tiny bit of warmth to the room. about this dark bedding is that we have the mid-tone on the wall we're trying to achieve like a moody look in here so then the dark bedding is like a really really dark contrast we have the mid-tone gray on the wall we have the white curtains which brings in like a little bit of brightness but they're all around the rooms i know it's a little bit challenging to see them right now but those are the curtains of course and then we also have the warmth from the floor which just kind of like brings it all together and contrasts with the cool tones as well and i also went ahead and got this little basket here at target which is super cute i think it brought in a little bit more warmth as well i feel like the floor and then a little bits of the rug kind of had that tan tone in it so that's why I brought it in here and then also in the tan bed sheets I do want to get more of a porcelain like heavy duty kind of nicer one for the corner here but this is what we currently have so I think it's going to tie in nicely with the brass element so I'm going to push this over in the corner I totally forgot to talk about the light fixture. We actually had this installed a couple weeks back when the guy installed Marie's bathroom light fixture. This is from Safa Via as well, kindly gifted. I'm obsessed with it. It's like such a cool statement-y light, but not too statement. And it matches all of our tones of gold, brass, and black in here. And then also the little lamps on the side tables are also from Safa Via. And these are really cool. They're like metal enamel dipped and they have this like stone effect on them, but I like how it's very dramatic and I think kind of brings in a nice texture on the nightstands. Guys, the room is complete and this makeover might be my favorite one ever. And I feel like I say that every single time, but I am obsessed with the outcome of this makeover. I was honestly like a little bit halfway through like questioning what was happening. I felt like in the end it was gonna look good, but it honestly came together so incredibly amazing and I'm so happy with the outcome of it. And I'm going to reveal it to you guys in three, two, one. Okay. One.
right guys, I wanted to bring Marie in for the outro. How do you like your room? It's so good. I'm literally obsessed with it we both literally facetimed our moms like one second after it was finished and marie's mom was shook and my mom was just like she was like this is the best room that you've ever done and she asked me why i haven't done one for her so i think i'm gonna have to do a similar room for my mom as well i think my favorite part is how the bed styled i mean honestly everything's my favorite it turned out exactly how i wanted it to be like literally guys look at this dresser here i cannot believe this is an ikea dresser it looks really really cute and overall everything just turned out really nice like the molding from Lux architectural was incredible so easy to use and we also did the portola paint which was really fun and then all of the curtains and everything just looks amazing and oh cannot forget the decennio art prints which just make this section so much more interesting and also guys do not forget to use code lone fox on decennio's website to get 10 percent off of your already 30% discounted posters. It doesn't include frames and such, but it does include all the posters, so you get such an amazing deal on those. So definitely check it out using the link below. All right, guys, I will catch you all in my next video. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you would like more DIY and home decor content. I post every single week, and you can follow me over on Instagram at Lone Fox Home. And if you want to, you can even follow Marie. Hers is right here. I'm adding you in, Marie. What? <laughs> you can follow Marie as well. Hers is Marie Dre. All right, guys, I will catch you all in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your day.